Hi friends, I'm gonna need you to stop what you're doing because Dollar Tree has Chanel yarn and I'm here to talk about it. Hey friends, it is Claire from Woodshed Theory and today we are going to talk about the Just Chanel yarn that has launched at the Dollar Tree just in time for spring. I was really excited to see a few uh, Yarny YouTubers review this and when I saw it I thought well I definitely want to go and try that. I've seen some people review it but I don't know that I've seen anyone make a few projects out of it. So I have been working diligently for the past three days to get a few projects together and see if this is a yarn that you should run out and buy or if this is something that you should pass on. So I did check on Dollar Tree's website to see if they sold this yarn because they do sell yarns in packs of 24. They don't seem to have this on their website right now. I don't know if it was a special release for spring, but I do know that they sell their premier worsted weight yarn and they also have their crafters choice brand on the website, but I did not see the chenille. So Dollar Tree had partnered with Premier to start selling some yarn. They've really expanded their craft section recently, and I am totally into that idea because things are tight right now for a lot of people, and I know personally that crochet, knit, handcrafts have really gotten me through the last year. Uh, I don't know about you, but I know that that's been the case for a lot of people. I would say that every skein of yarn that I saw at my Dollar Tree was in a 50 gram ball. So I know that sometimes they get other yarns in that are wholesale, it appears, and it's a little bit different, but the Premier and the Crafter's Choice they come in the smaller balls and you get that for $1 per skein. If you haven't felt chenille before, it is super velvety. It has that velvety vibe, but because it's in the yarn, it doesn't necessarily have the, I think somebody might call it scratchiness of velvet. It's now, this color is the light blue color. It has 65 yards per ball and that is a 50 gram ball. It is 100% polyester, machine wash warm, lay flat to dry. They recommend that you use an eight millimeter size of knitting needle, that's a US 11, and an eight millimeter size crochet hook, and that is a US L size. They're calling this a super bulky six. I would say, in my opinion, it is a five. I was watching another YouTuber who was reviewing this yarn. Uh, she put out a video about, I think when this goes out, it'll be about two weeks ago. Her name is Cinnamon Stitches. I'll try and link her channel or that video down below. And she mentioned that maybe this was the Premier Parfait yarn repackaged. I don't think it's exactly the same, only because I went on to Premier's website to do a price comparison. For the Premier Parfait, you are getting 100 grams of yarn for $3.99, not on sale. And for the Premier Just Chenille at the Dollar Tree, you are getting 100 grams for $2. Now, again, that doesn't mean you're getting the same length. The Premier Parfait has more yarn in it, but in general, I would say that I would consider this a deal if this is the kind of yarn that you are looking for, especially if you only need the 50 grams if you're gonna make something small, this would be the way to go. I have been diligently working on a few projects. It is Friday when I'm filming this, and on Wednesday, I went to my local Dollar Tree 
and bought some of this chenille yarn. I know every Dollar Tree does not have a yarn section, so definitely save yourself a trip and call first, see if they have yarn before you drive all the way out there. Uh, but ours did, and I was really excited about that. They only had three colors of the Just Chenille yarn at the Dollar Tree. So I bought all three and I think I cleaned them out. I wasn't sure how much I would need for a blanket and I ended up buying 18 skeins. So the colors that they had in stock at my Dollar Tree were the light blue, the white, and the yellow. And they do have all of these colors in the Premier Parfait as well. Um, the other colors that they have that I've seen on other people's reviews, green, purple, blue, yellow, pink. They had a pink one, light pink, um, and black and white. As I mentioned, I checked their website. They're not selling it on their website yet. So if it's something that you do want, I have no idea if it's gonna be back in stock or if they'll restock later or if it's seasonal. So rush out now in a buying frenzy if you are interested in chenille yarn. I made uh, three different things. I had noticed in people's videos that they had said, oh, this could be good for a blanket or a pillow or a hat or something to wear or an amigurumi. Um, but because a lot of people, you know, film their videos so quickly, they hadn't made anything up with the yarn yet. So I wanted to work as fast as I could and get you some examples because who cares what it looks like on the skein? I want to know what it looks like in a project. So the biggest thing that I made was a baby blanket. This is the corner to corner baby blanket that I made. It's the first time that I've ever done a corner to corner. I put all of the colors in there. I believe this is 30 by 40 inches. So it is a smaller baby blanket. Maybe you'd call it a receiving blanket. The trim on it is just single crochet in the white colorway of the yarn. And it just worked up so beautifully. As far as how it was to use when making something bigger like a blanket, uh, it did recommend the eight millimeter hook. I went with a seven. I did a swatch of the eight millimeter and in my opinion, it was a little bit too loose for this particular pattern. So I did use the seven. It worked up beautifully. It took me around probably 10 hours. I was not counting, I was just working. <laughs> and it's super soft, super snuggly. I'm gonna wash it and see how it washes. I haven't washed it yet, um, but it looks amazing. And I would definitely recommend this yarn for a soft little baby blanket. Problems I ran into, as other people have said in their reviews, it is chenille yarn. The ends do fray. There is little puffs of chenille all over my house, everywhere. So please pray for me as I spend the next week vacuuming. I would recommend cutting the ends a lot longer than maybe you usually would and weaving them in and snipping them off as opposed to doing like a short end and hoping that you can hide it because the fibers will start coming off. I did want to mention that I ended up using for a 30 by 40 inch blanket with the single crochet border, ended up using about 10 and a half balls of the yarn. That means that 
was about $10.50 to make the blanket. I don't think that that's necessarily a bad price. So that's the baby blanket that I made. Now I'm gonna put it on my lap because it's so cozy. The next thing that I worked on, um, and I believe a few people mentioned this in their videos as well, as soon as you see this, what do you think? I thought scrunchie, I never made a scrunchie before. Um, so don't, don't laugh at my scrunchie. But I crocheted around a hair tie and made a fun, big old 80s scrunchie. What's the style they call it now? Visco girl. Um, I thought that this would be great because it has that microfiber feel. So it'd be nice when I'm throwing my hair up to get out of the shower. So this took me about 45 minutes to make, maybe an hour. Um, if I redid it, I might have made the tube longer so it would be more scrunchy scrunchy. For this project, I used a seven millimeter hook and it worked up just fine. It's all single crochet, but it's pretty heavy as it is. So I liked that project. The final thing that I made, I was looking forward to because a lot of people said, hey, you could use it for amigurumi, you could use it for stuffed animals. So, sorry, you know I like cute things. It's a chick. It's a little chick for Easter. So I use a six millimeter hook. I don't know that you could go any smaller. I was really having trouble picking up the stitches in with a six millimeter. It just kind of made it a little bit cumbersome. So I would probably not go any lower than that. I think it came out so cute. My inspiration was those little peeps that you put in your hand at Easter and they go peep, 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 peep. So cute. This one obviously doesn't peep, but I gave him little wings and I put some felt on him. I didn't feel like this was the easiest material to make an amigurumi out of. It's hard to see the stitches. The fuzzies can kind of pull out sometimes. Uh, but in general, if you are experienced at making amigurumi and it's something that you're interested in, I would go ahead and try it. I don't know that I'd make a huge project out of it. I would probably pull all my hair out, but I love my little chicky and it worked totally well for that. And I just hot glued some accessories on and gave them some blush. Too much, too cute. Yeah, so the only problems that I ran into when using the yarn was the fraying when I left too small of a tail when changing my colors and then using the smaller hook to do the amigurumi uh, the six millimeter instead of the seven or the eight that kind of made it a little bit more difficult to work with and see what I was doing I did try and just feel for the stitches and hope for the best and I think that looks like a chick right right so if I had to rate this yarn, I would probably give it eight out of 10 stars. I think it's a great option for people who are looking for chenille on a budget. I think that you would really enjoy making up projects with it. I mean, you can make anything. With the colors that they had, I was, I was really looking forward to the green color because I was gonna make a frog hat. Maybe I can find the green color at another store. Um, they had black and white, so you could make up a little panda. They had lots of color. They didn't have a brown for a bear, but they had white for a bear. And I mean, a bear can be in any color. So lots of options, really fun. Go out now, rush out. So I, I think that that's a good deal. I'm gonna be sad to see this blanket go to its new home because there ain't no babies here. Sorry, mom. All right, so that is it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. If you have any questions, go ahead and shout them out in the comments below. If you have any suggestions of other projects I should work on, just let me know. Uh, also in the comments below, I would love to get your 
your thoughts and see what you'd like me to make. This was not intended to be a crochet channel. I don't think that everything on my channel will be crochet. I want to talk about autism and autism awareness, but I also want to do things that make me happy and share them with you. So hopefully there'll be lots of different kinds of projects coming up and I hope that you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time.